Hello fellow tankers, this is Dauntless, and today I'm going to be playing a game in my Leopard PTA, the Tier 9 German Medium Tank. This tank is probably the best Tier 9 Medium Tank in my opinion, and I think I've expressed this before in one of my other videos, but this tank is amazing. It's got great accuracy, it's got great mobility, good gun depression, and it's really a little brother to the Leopard 1, which is a Tier 10. And if you grind this baby out and you get to the Leopard, one is just going to fit you like a glove and it's just going to seem that much more sweet if you have practice in this guy right here. I love this vehicle and because I do, I really wanted to 3 market. And I went on a little quest and I played about, I think, 20 games in a row because I was sitting right up at 92% and I was playing game after game after game. And each game I was getting about 3,500 damage, I think. Um, combined and my marks were just going up little by little and I got it up really really close I think it was like 90 or yeah 94.74 or something like this and I just needed one good game and I got into this one and you'll have to see if I get it or not um, the map today is Sand River and if you look at the matchup you know it's not really anything special we have some great high tier players, our 121B and our IS7, E100 all great players and we have an SDA too a lot of the time heavy tanks will stay away from the north flank and from what I've seen recently a lot of heavy tank players will actually push up this middle here and then occasionally you'll see them go up uh, the K line but that kind of depends on how many arty are available. Their team, you know, they have some tank destroyers that are probably going to be either camping on the base here or alternatively, you know, depending on how mobile they are, a lot of tank destroyers like to sit up on this crest and snipe and so Judging by the fact that they don't have a lot of medium tanks, my strategy for trying to farm my last mark of excellence is to really just avoid anything up here because I don't think there's going to be a lot of farm there, and is to just take the middle, extend my great view range that I have on this vehicle with my cutted optics and uh, crew skills, and just try to take shots at anything out here without getting myself killed. Anyway, that being said, we'll get the game started. Leopard PTA is great. <laughs> it's just so fast. It's got great view range and it looks really sexy. I really think that this profile of the tank where it has that back plate that just kind of lifts up a little bit. It kind of looks like a cockroach or something, but I just think it's such a cool little tank. It's flat. It's got some tail lights on it and I really I think it looks better than the Leopard 1 if you ask me, but <laughs> So what I normally like to do if I have good enough view range is to pop over right here and this is because I don't have the greatest view range and I'm going to take a shot at the, the little wafflet because I know he has the least amount of armor and I have the highest chance of hurting him and then I get a critical hit so I'm like wonderful it's like RNG just curses you whenever you try to get your last mark and you're at the very end either you get one shot by Artie you get focused out by an idiot that just decides he wants to kill you for no reason even though it's going to kill him <laughs> and or you just happen to miss or not be able to pin anything but so I see that there are some nice targets up ahead be able to put a nice shot at that um, WT and I also get some track assist for that which is surprising because I don't think I actually tracked any that shot but this gun I mean this tank doesn't have like the best gun depression but you can definitely make it work it's not like T54 level of gun depression or the WZ120 for instance so for now I f this W uh, yeah the WT that uh, E75, all these vehicles are giving me shots, and I'm not really getting lit here. Their view range is, you know, you can see the distance that they're keeping. They're right at the edge, and a majority of these vehicles aren't running optics, and their view range is going to be just shy of being able to spot me, and I know this, and I'm going to take advantage of it because there's really nothing else here that can spot me, and as long as I have shots, I might as well farm. I'm at 1,200 damage at 400 assist, which is 1,600 combined, and that together definitely is not enough it'll actually drop my marks i need to get at least i think about 4k combined here to get my mark maybe even a little bit more so my goal is to stay alive a lot of people when they try to get their marks of excellence the reason they're unable to do so is because they they just don't understand i guess that staying alive is the most important part of getting your marks and having consistent battles. A lot of the time people are so desperate to try to get that damage is that they get on ahead of themselves and they die when there's only, you know, when there's still maybe half the team remaining. And or they don't understand that it's okay to fall back when things look kind of bad to farm that extra damage. One thing I will recommend if you guys are hoping to get your marks of excellence, whether it be your first or second or third, in any vehicle, 
I would really, really advise um, getting coded optics on any of these vehicles, as well as training, recon, and situational awareness. Both of these crew skills are awesome at improving your view range, and if you couple that with your coded optics, you can usually max out your view range by tier 9, and definitely by tier 10. And this is why even on my heavy tanks, I have coded optics, because any assist damage you do goes towards your marks. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. Not all assist damage is considered the same in World of Tanks. If you get spotting assist damage, it doesn't, it's not counted in the same registry towards your marks as tracking um, assist damage. So if I was to track something and get a thousand assist for that, and then spot something and get 500 assist, what World of Tanks does is it just takes the higher calculation of the two and puts it towards your marks. So, a little bit weird, <laughs> but that, that's why, like, if you're if you have a lot more spotting damage, definitely try to max that out the best you can, versus going for assist damage. Or, for instance, let's say I have 4,000 spot, and at the very end of the battle, I have a chance of either spot, of either tracking an enemy or doing 400 damage to it. If I already have a ton of spot, why bother tracking it and getting a thousand track when I could get 400 damage towards my marks? Because that thousand track assist is not going to do anything for my marks. So, Little things that no one ever tells you unless you <laughs> do a lot of Googling and research. But anyway, yeah, coded optics, definitely a great one to have in the arsenal, as well as going for that extra assist damage. And even if you're in a heavy tank, let's say the 113 has 400 base view range, putting on coded optics automatically gives you an extra 5, or I'm sorry, 10% view range, and that bumps it up to 440. If you get a couple of crew skills or if your commander is extra well trained, you're already going to be at max view range. And that's, in my opinion, putting you at an advantage over every other 113 driver out there that only has 400 base. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. I have already had 3,500 normal damage and 1,300 uh, assist damage from spotting. Actually, part of it is from tracking, from that uh, waffle that I tra uh, tracked at the very beginning. But at this point, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get my third mark. And at this point, I just still want to get as much damage as possible out of this game because, again, towards the very end when you're getting up to that 94 percentile, even great games unless you're above the highest margin, will drop your marks. And I have no idea where that shot went. It's kind of sad. I was hoping it would have gone in. At this point, I'm really just farming. Other tips I can give you is definitely understand um, enemy movement. Watch the mini-map the best you can at all times, because if you're being pushed really hard, it's okay to fall back and farm damage. And if your team is rolling through them, then it's okay to be aggressive. But just knowing how to conserve your hit points so that you can take a hit towards the end, and knowing when you need to relocate so you can get into a better defensive position so you don't just get one shot off and die. Like, knowing how to use your HP as wise as possible is probably the best advice I can give you when trying to get your third mark of excellence. And don't get me wrong, third mark of excellence is, like, great. You know, it's probably one of the my favorite things to do in World of Tanks because it's, like, this huge achievement for me. I, I'm, it's very happy and satisfying when I get my third mark of excellence. Uh, getting a second mark of excellence is no easy feat in a lot of vehicles. And so if you can even get two marks of excellence, which I have failed to do in some vehicles, it is also a great achievement. First mark, I think I'll, most people, if they try hard, can get it without too much of an issue. But again, getting that second or third mark is quite the achievement. And if you guys, you know, don't really care about the marks aspect, but you're interested in getting into it, you know, leave a comment down below and ask me questions. I'll do my best to try to coach you. And I don't even mind playing a couple games uh, with a platoon with you and just helping you, coaching you, you know, trying to help you get that mark. So it's the end of the game. I have still all my HP left, and this Oho is just chilling here on the cap, thinking he's going to cap out. I guess he really doesn't have any other options, but I'm just going to go ahead and farm him. And because I'm the closest to him, I think the CDC is probably getting some of the assists as well, but even if I don't put the final nail in his coffin, um, he's going to be getting a lot of assists for this. And that's the game. <laughs> I was able to rack up 5,600 damage as well as 1,300 assist. It's actually about 1,000 spot, I think, because I got 400 for tracking that WT in the very beginning. So overall, almost a, you know, a 7,000 assist or combined game. 
which is really great for getting your marks. And I was so happy after I got this because the Leopard PTA is one of my favorites and being able to get a third mark of excellence, I think is just a great achievement in any vehicle. And when you have a tank that you wanna keep, that you have a great crew in and you wanna show it off a little bit um, and just have that to be proud of knowing that you pretty much mastered the vehicle to the, you know, the maximum of its potential, it's just a great feeling. So I may have uh, done a little dance when I three mark this tank. <laughs> don't, uh, don't tell my wife. <laughs> anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed this replay if you did I'd really appreciate it if you give it a like down below I know the replay wasn't the most fascinating yeah I farmed a lot of damage but hopefully you found some of those little nuggets that I gave you useful for getting your third mark of excellence or even your second or first so anyway guys again if you like this I'd really appreciate it if you give it a like down below and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel for more content like this in the future anyway guys as always thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later